Hey there friends, this is Gracie Ruth and I'm going to show you how to work on a black and white image with a splash of color. We are using PicMonkey. PicMonkey is an online photo editing service and it takes pictures from boring to awesome and we're going to work on it. Okay, on the left hand side we have um, the basic edits which is crop, canvas, color, Rotate, Exposure, Color, Sharpen, and Resize. On the far left, we have the icons for Effects, Touch-Up, Text, Overlays, Frames, Textures, and Themes. Okay, we're going to click on Effects, and here's a, an extensive list of effects that you can apply to images. For this tutorial, we're going to click on black and white. And over here it has the brush size. It could be very large or very, very tiny. We're going to just have it in mid size. Just mid size. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to put a, slash of, a splash of color on the ringstone here. So the brush size it's set. And now I click on the stone and just go up and down where the stone is. And as you can see, it's getting some color. It's turning green. And now we also click on where the crystals are so it can get color. And all this is very simple and easy to do. You can do it with any image that you have that you want to highlight just one specific part of it. Okay, let's say we made a mistake here and we highlighted this area. So all you need to do is click on Effect, zoom in a little closer and just go over it. You can even make the brush size a little smaller so you can get the small, small, tiny parts that were missed originally. The very close parts. And then, you know, play with the brush until you get the image the way you want it to look. So everything seems to be black and white now. Go back here and highlight this area. there. See, we needed just a little more green there. Okay, so now we zoom out. Perfect. The ring is highlighted with a splash of color. Hey friends, if you like this video, please make sure you like it share it, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment at the bottom. Let me know what other tutorials you would like me to show you. And we'll see you at the next video.